Welcome to FirearmsGuide.com YouTube channel. FirearmsGuide.com is the world's largest firearms, air guns, and ammunition reference guide. Also, gun value guide, and also world's largest gunsmithing library with over 20,000 high resolution zoomable and printable gun schematics, blueprints, gun manuals, and even antique gun catalogs. What we have here today this is the Humorex Origin in Caliber 25. Today is the Oscars days here in Los Angeles, but instead of watching that stupid thing on the TV, I decided to have much more fun and shoot and test my airgun. So today we're going to do the basic test. Humorex Origin in Caliber 25 against a lot of cans. If you can see, yes, we have a lot of cans. We have even more in our storage because we have enchilada day today. Okay, so... Humorex Origin uh, in Caliber 25 is locked and ready. Before the test, I want to tell you a couple of things about the ammo that we're going to use. First ammo that we're going to use will be this H&N Sport Barracuda. As much as I can see, that's 2.01 uh, grams or 31.02 grains. And then the second shot, every single time, second shot will be made with these FX air guns. Uh, of course, this is also in caliber 25, weight is only 25.4 grains or 1.645 grams, so it's much lighter ammo. We'll shoot first Barracuda, 31 grains, and then FX air guns, 25 grains, and we'll see is there any substantial difference in penetration by using those two pellets. So, let's check it out. Okay, this is highly scientific penetration test. Of course, no mathematical formula, no ballistic charts, anything like that. Just pure and simple, shoot something and see through how many uh, layers we can go through. And in this case, we'll shoot this standard black beans and beans cans here in US. They're all like that. They are made from very thick metal. I don't know exactly which metal it is, but it's very strong, very thick. If you take your knife or a screwdriver and hit it, I doubt that you'll be able to punch the hole through it. And those are definitely not the soda cans like Coke cans or your beer cans that are made from aluminum and they are very, very soft. These ones are very thick and very strong. So we'll have five in a line and we'll see how this thing will actually go through it. Now, to make it even more scientific, we're gonna put a little bit of weight on the top so that they don't move when they are hit. And now let's see the result of our penetration test. So we're gonna move this thing first and check it out. Let me grab the camera and let's check it out. And here are the result of the second penetration test. Believe it or not, I was so stupid that I forgot to turn the camera on before I start shooting, so I don't have filmed that segment of me shooting the cans, but we'll check out the result. First shot was placed, of course, with H and N Sport Barracuda with 31 grain pellets, and then the second shot FX air guns 25 grains. So now let's remove these concrete blocks and let's see uh, what is the result. And as much as you can see, eight cans. So let's quickly go through all of them. As much as I can see, first completely through the second one as well third one fourth one fifth one sixth one as well seventh one as well both holes and now let's see oh, oh, nothing on this side let me turn it around oh here it is right here on the bottom so eight can receive the shot through with the barracudas and then fx air guns hit it right here in the middle of the can, but it didn't penetrate at all. And we can see the Barracudas right here. So, in total, we have seven and a half layers of these heavy steel cans for Barracudas in 31 grains, 
and only seven of the walls, can walls for FX air guns with 25 grains. So a little bit heavier pellet definitely showed a little bit better penetration. But now let's actually check out the result of some penetration hole. Look at this. This is the seventh hole. I mean the seventh can all the way on the back. And look at the size of the hole. I mean this, this thing literally blew up through the wall completely. Both of them. And that's the seventh can. I mean, there is really a lot of steel being penetrated at this moment, you know. Phenomenal exit wound, if I can call it that way. Look at this. Also, fantastic hole. Or look at this. This is what? The fifth can. Fifth can also. Phenomenal hole. Look at this. Completely blown out. I think this is the great result. Imagine that this was the rabbit, let me say, or squirrel or something like that fantastic penetration i mean fantastic results on these heavy steel cans really really great and then here it is barracuda is right there so excellent penetration power they say that it's up to 60 uh, foot pounds of energy and we can see here okay just for fun of it this is the eight can and here is that barracuda 31 grain pellet so Let's check it out, how it looks like. It's actually not that distorted. It, it expanded for sure, you know, you can see that right here. But it's not that bad, you know. It's pretty, still in pretty solid shape. Little bugger went through the seven and a half cans. So the second test will be also highly scientific. We're gonna shoot this very thin paper-made coffee can. And of course that it's gonna go through, you know, but we'll spice it up a little bit. First thing that I wanna say, this will be fair certified test because this is a fair trade certified cup of coffee. And what we're gonna do right now, I think, we're gonna fill it with water. Okay, all the way to the top. Now we're gonna close it so that it simulates the skin on the rabbit body. So, let me say that this water inside of this mug is actually like a blood and a tissue of a small game. And now we're gonna see when we shoot it, you know, will it go from one end all through the body of water and out. I'm pretty sure that it's gonna happen, so let's check it out. Uh, distance from shooting, it will also be like four, five feet away. So not only that it went through, but it literally blew up the entire can, went through, completely blow up this paper the kinetic energy actually blew out entire water out and the lid of course everything was blown up went completely through so this was kind of nice and graphic now the test number three one gallon plastic jug filled with water the difference between this one and the previous test is not only that now we have much more of the water so the pellet has to go through the much more of the water but in previous test the lid of that coffee mug was not actually screwed in very firmly so when it when the pellet hit it most of the water simply blew out on the top this test would have a plastic jug that it's actually has very nicely and firmly screwed in the top cap so water definitely will not just simply be blown up from the uh, jug it will stay in and it will give much more of the resistance to the pellet so even though even even though if it's not much bigger than the one on the previous test this will be much harder to penetrate so let's check it out again i'm gonna use the heavier barracuda pellets because somehow i think that for this we need heavier pellet And as we can see, the pellet actually, of course, penetrated the first wall. And then if we turn the bottle, we will see the exit hole right here. And the water is just simply dripping out of it. So it went through the entire bottle 
entire one gallon plastic jug filled with water and if we unscrew the top we'll see that the water will actually drip out like a crazy